वेरी गुड इवनिंग एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू माय सेल्फ एस आर चाकने असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ एग्रोनॉमी ऐट सदगुरु कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर मिरजगाव इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द लेक्चर नंबर सेवन दैट इज चॉइस ऑफ क्रॉप्स एंड वैरायटीज अंडर द ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग हेयर फ्रेंड्स टुडे we will discuss about the lecture number 8 and 9 that is integrated disease and pest management in organic farming firstly we will discuss about the integrated pest management that is ipm so this ipm is defined as it means the suitable combinations of all the preventive cultural mechanical and biological methods which are used for minimizing the infestation of the pest below the economic injury level that is known as the integrated pest management means in which we are using the various methods but these all the methods which are used by the integrating together and we can minimize the infestation of the pest and diseases below the economic injury level ipm measures that means the integrated pest management measures either they are preventive or the curative one the control of pest that is relies on understanding of the pest life cycle behavior and ecology then it also in involves the natural enemies host resistance and the various cultural practices which are used for controlling of the different insect pest and diseases under the organic farming so among all these methods firstly we will discuss about the cultural methods for controlling of the pest and diseases under the organic farming in this firstly we will discuss about the crop rotation this crop rotation that is central to all the sustainable farming system it extremely effective way to minimize the most pest problem while maintaining and enhancing the soil structure and the fertility then diversity is the key to successful crop rotation program the diverse rotations are particularly effective in regulating the flea beetles then cabbage butterfly then managing the frequency with which a crop is grown within a rotation maintaining the rotation's diversified habitat which provides the parasites and predators of the pest with alternative sources of the food shelter and the breeding site then crop isolation or the rotation strategies in which most effective against pest that do not disperse over the great distances and or that other winter sorry or over winter in or near the host crop fields that means the crops isolation and the rotation strategies then the example of the crop isolation that is rotation with the glucosinolates that containing the brassicaceae can be beneficial through the biofumigation effect against the various soil borne pests and the diseases then the second cultural practice which is useful against the controlling of the insect pest that is field sanitation or it is also known as the crop residue management in the field sanitation the insects most affected by the field sanitation or the crop residue management will be those that overwinter in the crop residue that includes the european corn borer then pink bollworms then sugarcane borer the examples are in alfalfa seed fields the alfalfa plant bug is controlled by burning the crop residue in late fall or early spring then the field sanitation is an effective preventive measure in fruit fly management then the third important major against the insect pest control in organic farming that is the use of the quality seed the high quality insect free healthy seed and seedlings which are important in the uh, important 
for the prevention of the insect pest and the diseases under the organic farming so this use of the quality seed which is considered as an important major the seed analysis by the seed testing laboratory which is also essential for the further spread of the diseases and the pest then planting the physically sound seed is also important in crops such as the flax rye and pulses a crack in the seed coat may serve as an entry point for the soil borne microorganisms that root the seed once it is planted the examples are the seed gall nematode in feet then the tomato root knot nematode these are the examples then the next cultural practice that is the use of intercropping so firstly we will discuss about what is a intercropping so the intercropping is defined as the growing of two different crops on the same piece of land in a definite row arrangement that is known as the intercropping or another definition of intercropping that is the sowing or the growing of two or more crop on the same piece of land in a definite row proportion in a unit time that is known as a intercropping the practice of intercropping can reduce the pest problem by making it more difficult for pest to find a host crop then it provides the habitat for the beneficial organism then the examples are the intercropping of spinach beans and tomato that reduce the the incidence of the cabbage aphid and the diamond back moth in the cabbage crop then another example is the incidence of the pod borer that means the helicoverpa armigera that reduce the chickpea fame grown in association with the barley mustard linseed and the coriander then the colorado potato beetles are attracted to volatile from the potato that is the solanum tuberosum but are repel or not attracted by the mixture of the potato and tomato that means the lycopersicum esculentum that is the botanical name of the tomato then the diversity created by introducing the cluster bean cowpea black gram or the groundnut as an intercrop in the castor in the 1 as to 2 row proportion that resulted in the reduction of incidence of the insect pest which is namely as the akia genata then imposca flavescence and the canogethis pactiferialis geni so these are the some of the insect these are controlled due to the adoption of the intercropping system under the organic farming and that is considered as an impact uh, effective control measure against the various pests and the insect which are observed in a organic farming then the next cultural practice that is the mixed cropping mixed cropping or the mixed varietal schemes that reduces the concentration of the suitable food plant for the insect and the pathogens that specialized on a subset of the plants or the varieties which are grown in the mixture then the literature shows that the 56 percent of the herbivores had lower population densities then 16 percent which had the higher population densities and 28% had the similar or the variable densities in polyculture that is compared to the monoculture. Then the next one that is the time of sowing. The planting should be scheduled that the most susceptible time of the plant that growth does not correspond to the peak in the pest cycle. Then early sowing that reduces the grasshopper aphids in the cereal crop while the delayed sowing in which the wire worm and the cut worms in the cereal crop the example that includes the first one that is the north indian state the late sowing of the maize that prevent the stem borer and the chilo partilus attack then second example is the early sowing of the kharif sorghum crop that lace should fly and the stem borer population 
then third one that is the early transplanting of paddy that suffers less from the borer attack then next one that is the depth of sowing for most crop the seeding should ideally be done when the soil is warm enough for the rapid germination the seed that remain ungerminated in cool soil are more susceptible to damage by the insect such as the wire worm the example is the potato seeds planted at depth greater than 1.5 inches take longer to germinate and are at a greater risk for the infestation of the wire worm so that is the importance of the depth of sowing in controlling the various diseases and the pests under the organic farming then next one is the tillage practices tillage should be properly time before the seeding after the harvesting and during the summer fallow to reduce the population of the insect pests such as the cutworms and the grasshopper grasshoppers then it also reduces reduced or the zero tillage or the conservation tillage these are also types of the tillage which is also important in controlling the various pests in the crop the examples that include the tillage after the rice that harvest kill the stem borer army worm then pupae grasshopper eggs black bugs and the root weevils then the rv worm and the maize stock borer often increases in crops grown under the reduced tillage then the next management practice that is the water management the need for irrigation is detected by the crop growth and weather rather than the need for the insect control the example drainage for one or two days in paddy crop that control the pest such as the whorl maggot root feeding mejes then water weevils and the case worm then alternating alternate draining and flooding for 5 to 7 days that control the black bugs plant hoppers then gall mage hypsa and the stem borer then the flooding of the land shortly after the preparation for 2 to 3 days effective for killing the pupae of the helicoverpa and the spodoptera in the cotton then the next important cultural practice that is the use of the mulches all the mulches that suppress the insect in comparison to the bare soil the examples are the separation of the colorado potato beetle has been demonstrated with the straw mulch in the potatoes then the organic mulches that suppress the colorado potato beetle through a combination of the effect that involving the reduced host finding ability and increase the predation from the natural enemies then the next important mulch that is the straw mulch that also have been well studied in reducing the aphid infestation and the virus incidence in the several crops then the higher populations of the beneficial insect in which the buckwheat was intercropped with the squash then the lower pest pressure and the higher beneficial insect populations in which the intercropping buckwheat and the squash which is considered as an beneficial control measure against this pest then the next one that is the trap crop the trap crop that attract the pest species away from the cash crop to be protected and into a specific area where they can be destroyed then depending on the target pest and the cash crop the trap crops can be planted with or around the perimeter of the cash crop field then size and configuration of the trap crop that is also important then proper timing of the planting and adequate spacing and the size of the trap crop then the knowledge of the biology and the ecology of the target pest species which is also very important so in this way these are the various cultural methods which are used for keeping the insect or the pest population below the economic injury level then next method we have to discuss here that is the mechanical method in mechanical method first method that is the use of the pheromones and the other attractant for controlling the pest the pheromones and the other chemical attractant can be used in the several different ways as 
to monitor the insect population to disturb the mating of the uh, insect and the mass dropping uh, mass trapping of the insect then here are the various types of the pheromone trap and the target pests uh, pest species which are given here in that first pheromone trap that is the nomad that is used against the tomato fruit borer tobacco caterpillar brinjal fruit and shoot borer okra fruit and shoot borer then second one that is the ferrosensor sp pheromone trap that is used against the to uh, tomato fruit borer tobacco caterpillar then brinjal fruit and shoot borer okra fruit and shoot borer then fly t that means the fly pheromone trap which is used against the fruit fly then luceni lure that is used against the brinjal fruit and shoot borer then dbm lure that is used against the diamond back moth and the last one that is the heli lure which is used against the tomato fruit borer and ptm then there are various bait traps and the lures which are used in which the bait trap then japanese beetle trap pheromone traps slug and snail trap sticky board trap crops and the water trap these are the various types of the bait trap and traps and the lures which are used for controlling the insect pest then here we have to discuss about some beneficial organisms which are useful against the insect in which firstly we will discuss about the predators the larva or the adult hunt attack and consumes the prey the example that includes the ladybird beetle lace wing praying mantid then syrphid flies then asian bugs minute pirate bugs then spiders and the predatory mite these are the examples of the uh, some of the insect and in which the ladybird beetle that is considered as an important predator against this pest or the insect then each one eats many insect in its lifetime not picky eaters then here some of the uh, pictures of the field bug which is given here then after that the uh, some of the various types of the ladybird beetle which is also considered as an uh, uh, predator which is helpful in controlling the various pest then here are some the uh, pictures of the predatory flies which are also given which includes the syrphid fly then syrphid fly larva pupa and the long legged fly which are shown here then here are some the examples of the other predator which includes the big eye bug then tiger beetle then predatory stink bug minute pirate bug spider and the lace wing larva then after that some uh, after that the predator we have to discuss here some the beneficial organism which includes the parasitoid the immature develop on or inside a host that killing it as they mature then they emerge as adult and continue the cycle the example that includes the parasitic flies and the wasp each one its only one insect in its lifetime then usually they are very picky eaters then the next one that is the some of the pathogen that colonize and kill the host the example that includes the various types of the nematodes bacteria viruses fungi and the protozoa then the next one that is the weed feeder that can be attacked by the arthropod then vertebrate and the pathogen which includes mainly the fungi viruses bacteria and the nematodes then some of the botanical pesticides are also given here which includes the pyrethrum that is extracted from the flower in the chrysanthemum family a contact poison with a quick knockdown little residue effect then omr i approved product that includes the pyogenic then the broad spectrum insecticide that is highly toxic to the honey bees and the other beneficial then the insect which are controlled by this pyrethrum that includes the aphid beetle then caterpillar thrips and the true bugs then the next botanical pesticide that is the neem or which is also called as the azadiractin 
that neem or the aza directing that is extracted from the fruit of the tree that is grown from the india to africa which act mainly as an insect growth regulator repellent then stomach poison and some fungicidal properties have been reported then it is relatively non toxic then omri approved product that includes the aza direct then neem nemix these are the two product which are mainly available in the market then the neem products have little to no negative effect on the adult beneficials then insect which are controlled by this neem or the aza directing that includes the cpb cpb then mexican bean beetle then squash bug aphid and the more then frequent applications are more effective than a single sprays because the neem uh, sorry the neem does not persist well on the plant surfaces it is used against the immature insect then begin the application before the pest level which are very high then this neem which work best under the warm temperature conditions then neem's systemic properties suggest that applying it to the transplant just before the planting to the field could be an effective and the inexpensive way to control the certain pest then the next one that is the microbial pesticide microbial tend to not to be as a toxic as botanical and are more selective and softer on the beneficials which includes the bacillus thuringiensis which is also called as a bt then parasitic fungi then parasitic nematode and the spinosad these are the some of the microbial pesticides which are also used against the control of the various insect pest then firstly we will discuss about the bacillus thuringiensis that means the bt Bacillus thuringiensis it contains the toxin made by a soil bacterium choose the appropriate formulation for the paste then because the bt must be eaten by the insect to be effective it is very important to apply the spray to the parts of the plant where and when the insect is feeding through the coverage is required then the young larvae are mostly susceptible to this bacillus thuringiensis this means the bt then the spread formulations which are sensitive to the ultraviolet light then they are best applied late in a day then the several omr approved formulations which are also available then the next one that is the parasitic fungi the example is the bivaria bacinia the spores or the fungus that germinates once they come into the contact with the insect pest then the fungus must penetrate the cuticle and infect the body cavity to kill the pest then which are effective on many insect that including the aphids thrips white flies and the grasshoppers then this parasitic fungi work best when applied at onset of the infestation takes a week or more after the application to see the evidence of the control then omri omri approved formulation that includes the mycotrol and neutralis these are the two product which are uh, available in market then the next one that is the parasitic nematode that parasitic nematode they are occurring naturally in soil then they are semi aquatic live and move in a soil water generally they are sensitive to the ultraviolet radiation and the desiccation then hetero habitats for control of the deep dwelling lethargic pest like the japanese and the june beetle then stirnarma nematode for the control of the shallow uh, dwelling active pest such as the fungus gnat larva shore fly etc and the next one that is the parasitic nematode the application of this parasitic nematode which is done in this way the spray or irrigation then drip fertigation aerial watering can then application should be followed by the irrigation and it should don't apply during the hottest part of the day but soil should be more than 60 degree or uh, more than 60% moist moist then soil physical properties that affect the uh, efficiency this parasitic nematode works well in labs but poor understanding of the why failures which are occur in the field the important to follow some instruction 
instructions file uh, the use of this parasitic nematode in this way we have uh, discussed here the various methods to control the insect pest and diseases below the economic injury level in the organic farming thank you